All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years apart with big differences in height and reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, presenting the challenger, the destroyer. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. And he landed the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Nice punch lands. Big body kick lands. All right, 
So we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Flush right hand is true. Now connects with the right, and both guys really throwing with authority. Lands flush with that right hand. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, hook to the head by Lee. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, big head kick lands. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Just out of range with the big right hand. Beautiful body kick. What a punch. Oh, that, I feel like dislocate my hip. Look at that roundhouse. I mean, he can get that kick off in any direction. Oh! Back to the feet. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, straight right. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Slips. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Connects with the right. Just missed with the left there. Big Paul punch land. Now he gets back in range. Able to check the high kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Oh, that right hand is on point. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice strike. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, nice right hand. Missed with that right hand. Back and forth we go. Oh, and the Superman. It's there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, he got it. He got it. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. He takes his opponent to his side to try to get the finish. Looks like his opponent's trying to turn into the choke here, yeah, no, but there's a lot of pressure. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Good right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. 
hits the guard, lands the right hand. Real quick leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Beautiful strike. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. We got the turtle in that kick. Pretty good right hand. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. How good is that right hand? Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. Over and over, this guy's getting hit. Right in his face. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Big punch man over the top. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Misses with that punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Nice kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Right punches there. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Lee. Hands high, hands high. And he continues to work the body here. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Another clinch position. That knee might have landed there. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love them. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Over and over, he lands his big body kick. Got clip with the right hand. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big kick lands. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. That's a big strike right there. Lee's punch to the body, that one is blocked. Got the single collar tie. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising and it's only getting worse. Nice connection on the counter punch there and oftentimes DC can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge and reach. Oh, and he counters with a straight left that landed flush. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Ooh, what a head kick. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Straight right, he misses. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice kick.
All right, no Telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I gotta be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a Telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to go that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage to another opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. his opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Beautiful body kick. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Lee gets caught with that punch. Scuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice. Yes, the uppercut in the clinch. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Yes, that you heard of in the last round. Same exact one. Nice loop to punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Man, he just gets better with every fight. Another kick to the leg landed there by Lee. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Just over three minutes to go now. in the single collar tie. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter. Take the judges out of it. Nice body kick. He gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Another leg kick lands. Oh, big elbow. Shut the liver down. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, he 
just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. Oh! the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number three. Join the winner by knockout and still. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all styles. Bruce Lee with authority is your